And the blog started as a, as a way for me, this was an interactive resume of sorts. Today on Dog and Pony, we discuss how following your passion can lead to success in business. Rafat Ali is a writer and entrepreneur who chronicled the evolution of the internet before blog was part of the vernacular. Today he's CEO and founder of Content Next, a network of websites covering the business of digital content. Rafat, welcome to Dog and Pony. Thank you for having me. All right, we're going to start our interview today with a quick series of questions we call Once Around the Track. I ask you a lot of questions in 30 seconds and you give me quick answers. Are you ready? Okay. All right. Uh, where are you from? London. Where do you vacation? Hawaii. Late to bed or early to rise? Both. What's your motto? Still figuring it out. Who is your business hero? No one yet. What do you order at Starbucks? Soy latte. On a roll or drop out? On a roll. What's your biggest professional mistake to date? Starting the company. <laughs> I seriously doubt that, but you have been once around the track. So how did you first hook up with Silicon Alley Reporter and all that? Well, I was uh, from Indiana. I moved to uh, New York mm -hmm. with the hope of getting a job. Right. And then I started as an intern at this website called Inside.com, uh -huh. which very few people here probably know about. And then I moved to Silicon Alley Reporter. The magazine had closed down by then, mm -hmm. um, so I was writing for online. What was your beat at Silicon Alley Reporter? Did you have one specifically? I was gravitated more towards the media industry, and that's how the idea of paid content came about, trying to cover media industry's moves online. Right. So after September 11th, the whole economy is, is uh, in, in, the, uh, in the bucket, and you start, decide it's a good time to start your own business. Uh, no, actually, it was a good time to start um, making up your resume. Uh -huh. And that's what happened. The blog started as a, as a way for me. This was an interactive resume of sorts, mm -hmm. saying, here's what I can do. Mm -hmm. In between, I moved from New York to London, again looking for a job there. Yeah. And the blog was still going on. It was yeah. just remote. I was working on it. Somebody emailed me asking, do you take ads on the site? And then something clicked in the head, and I said, yes. And then they said, how much <laughs> do you charge? Okay. And that's just how it started. And now you've got a real business. How many employees do you have? We have 22. Mm -hmm. We're soon to add another two, so we'll probably be about 25 in the next, I would say, two weeks. And, and you've got three separate products of content next, is that correct? Uh, three different sites, yes. Okay. Paidcontent.org, which covers online, Broken right. News, which covers mobile business, mm -hmm. Content Sutra, which covers the Indian market. And are they pretty much the same kind of editorial product, just geared towards different markets? Different markets, yeah. And the Indian market has come along very, very quickly, I assume. Yeah, I mean, that's a huge market for us. We are, within two years, we're the biggest technology blog there. What are, the, what are the challenges for managing your business? We were one salesperson as little as 10 months ago. Mm -hmm. And now we are four, soon to be five. And now it's managing the sales processes, making sure that the salespeople are delivering, making sure they're motivated. That's one challenge that we have. On the other side, which is a real problem right now, is um, talent in the market, mm -hmm. especially on the editorial side, finding the right kind of journalist to understand what we do. Mm -hmm. Because our journalism is different. It's, it's, firstly, it's very, very demanding. Mm -hmm. 24 hours, breaking news. Uh, so somebody who understands the value, somebody who has a voice, yet at the same time comes from a very journalistic background. Uh, we don't put too much opinion in it. Mm -hmm. So all that stuff which is quite demanding, that's a tough part for us. So it's you need somebody that's that's very forward thinking, very and yet also very experienced. What's, and what's in it for them? I mean, like why why do they come work with you as opposed to staying someplace with a bigger, more stable reputation? We can match the salaries. I don't think we can compete on salaries in the sense that we can't outbid right. Tao Jones if, if if they really want a journalist. Mm -hmm. What we do have is um, is our profile in the market, mm -hmm. um, which is pretty high. Also, when you come with us, you, you yourself are a brand right? Uh, because you have your own voice as a journalist as opposed to just being an a unknown byline somewhere in a, in a huge media organization. Yeah. And then you're out front speaking to people, speaking at conferences, covering conferences, traveling. So I think right. it's a mix of all of that. What, what are some of the trends you see in the Internet that you're sort of uh, putting your brand next to your editorial saying, this is what I think is important and what people should be watching? One of the most, I mean, this is, um, as I'm sure you know, everybody's talking about Facebook right now. Sure. Everybody. And uh, it, it's interesting uh, to watch it and cover it, if only to understand how long will that, that go on. Right. 
the morphing of the conversation from MySpace to Facebook, yep. that's a fascinating subject. Mm -hmm. And uh, how do marketers interact with MySpace versus how they interact with Facebook? Again, that's a fascinating thing. The other thing that will happen in the next year is uh, a lot of niche social networks which are focused on specific topics, specific areas. All of those are coming up. You'll see a lot of developments there. Another topic that we're tracking, and this is selfish on our part in some senses, is the evolution of business media. Mm -hmm. Because, we, again, we're part of that sector. Right. Um, Dow Jones being bought by News Corp, Thomson Reuters, and all these deals happening. Mm -hmm. How is the business media sector, business and trade media sector changing? And I guess we're part of that sector, so it, 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 it's uh, fascinating for us, too. All right, Rafa, now this is a section we call None of Your Business, and that's where I ask you slightly impolite questions, and okay. you have the option of answering them or being smart and telling me that it's none of my business. Okay. Are you ready? Sure. All right. What kind of CPMs are you getting on paidcontent.org? We don't sell by CPMs. Oh, you don't? No, sponsorships. Who's the most overrated blogger in the blogosphere? Mike Arrington. Who's the best blogger? That would be us. Are you on Facebook? Yes. What is your citizenship? British, um, yeah, British. All right, Rafid, uh, anything you want to plug before we close up? We have our future business media conference coming up. Where is that and what's the website for it? Uh, FOBMconference.com, mm -hmm. future of business media, FOBMconference.com. It's uh -huh. October 30th in New York. Right on. All right, well, good luck with that, and thanks for joining us today on Dog and Pony. As always, if you have questions or suggestions for future guests, you can email me at paul at dogandpony.tv. Thanks for stopping by. See you later. Dog and Pony. Dog and Pony.